phone's on silent, everybody. <laughs> I've got mine, so that's all good. <laughs> so, good to go. All right, so hello, this is Mark Payne from SFL in Reading. Uh, I've brought together a few pieces of technology from Yamaha and from Midas. And uh, as dealers for Yamaha and Midas products, I wanted to show you how we can use these technologies to actually speak to other. They don't have to be separate worlds. Over here we've got uh, Yamaha CL5. It's a uh, very current uh, latest uh, console from Yamaha. It uses Dante to do its audio networking. And over here we have the uh, uh, Pro 2 uh, console from Midas. Uh, very popular console. People love these things for sometimes slightly different reasons. Uh, both of these desks have got fantastic reputations in the marketplace and I wanted to show you how we can actually connect them together. Uh, let's just have a look down here. Uh, we're using uh, our stage boxes which are uh, Rio uh, 3224s. They have 32 inputs and 24 outputs. Some of them are analog, some of them are digital. And we've got two of them, so there's a 64 input system here with plenty of outputs. If you look up on the board, I wanted to show you a little bit of how, how we've set this audio network up. This is the Yamaha CL5, which is over there. You've already seen it. This is the Midas Pro 2, which is over here. I want you to imagine that the CL5 is running as a monitor console, and maybe the Pro 2 is running as a front of house console. The Yamaha uh, equipment, including the Rio stage boxes, which I showed you in the rack down here, these all run on a Dante network. And a Dante network is no more than, effectively, a TCP IP network that you would be used to seeing in uh, computer technologies. These switches are Hewlett Packard switches. They cost about 80 quid each. There's nothing special about them. And we create audio networks using this equipment. You'll probably notice there are two switches because we like to create a primary and a redundant network. When you consider that down a Cat5 cable we can have all 48 channels of the show, it's a little bit risky just to have that on one cable. We would really like to see a main and a standby system. So all of this equipment has got a primary and a secondary connection and therefore there are primary and secondary switches so we totally have a separate set of um, uh, I.O. for both of these situations. So, sorry I'll just pull this back in here. So here you can see there is a primary and there's a secondary switch and therefore we have Dante networks made out of Cat5 cabling, quite cheap cabling, uh, which we allow ourselves to create these two separate and redundant networks. So the CL5 console communicates with the stage boxes this way and also we have sitting off of the same audio network on a simple piece of Cat5 we have our recorder which is able to record because it's plugged into the same primary network as the stage boxes this recorder is able to record all 64 channels just off of one piece of Cat5 cabling. So the um, software we need to do this runs on the computer and it's called Dante Virtual Sound Card. This is effectively the sound card that interfaces Cat5 into my recording software which in this case I'm using Nuendo Live. It could be Logic, it could be Pro Tools but I'm using Nuendo Live which is a very um, economical and reliable uh, live recording suite. It also happens to come for free when you buy a Yamaha CL5 so why not use it. Then Something you might not have ever thought of before, Midas uh, connects also with Midas' stage boxes, but it uses a very different protocol called an AES-50, that is not the same as Dante. So I'm using a conversion box, which is made by Clark Technic, and that's converting from the world of Dante to the world of AES-50. That device is here. This is the Clark Technic DN6550, uh, uh, 9650, sorry. And that's taking Dante networking from the Yamaha world and the Rios and converting it into AES50 for the Midas. So even though we've only got one set of stage boxes near stage, which are made by Yamaha, we're able to drive both the Yamaha console and the Midas console from the same input. So here I've got a little tone generator. I'm going to plug it into channel one. You can hear the tone. 
and you can see that that's coming to channel 1 on the CL5. It's also being routed to channel 1 on my recording software and it's also coming out of channel 1 on the Midas board. So I've created, I'm just going to unplug that because it's slightly annoying. I've created in this demonstration a front of house and monitor split where this is, if you like, the front of house board and this is the monitor board using a common set of microphone preamplifiers in the Rios and I don't need any clever analog split hardware. I've done that all at the level of a digital network. So that's the idea of this uh, scenario. It also enables me to record uh, the session, multi-track the session onto, a, onto Noendo. And I'm going to do a little thing just to show you what can then happen. Once I've captured the recording, I can play it back to both consoles. So I have a console, a recording that I captured earlier, which I'm just going to go through to now which I'm just going to open a new project. Bear with me while I do this. Uh, we'll go here. We have a live gig that I recorded in London, which is a 48 channel gig of a big gospel choir with 12 vocals and a full band and uh, different sections. So you can see that on the recorder here. I'm just going to go from a different particular position. Now I need to repatch both of the consoles because at the moment they are listening to the stage box and I don't want them to listen to the stage box, I want them to listen to the recorder. So I do that um, using Dante controller to make a repatch and all I need to do is restore a preset that I made earlier, it's a bit like Blue Peter here, here's one I made earlier where I'm going to repatch both of the consoles so that instead of listening to the stage boxes they are now listening to my record PC, such that when I hit play here, you can now see that all 48 channels are now coming to my monitor board, and also all 48 channels are coming to the front of house console. And we call this the virtual sound check environment. I'm just going to stop this so that you don't have to listen to stuff through headphones. We call this a virtual sound check environment because you could send the band away, having done the recording in the live environment, you could send the band away for tea, and you both the monitor engineer and the front of house engineer could work on mixing, getting compressors and gates sent, set without having to have the band present. It's a great training tool also to help people understand how things go. So doing recording in this way is not particularly new. We've been doing this now for about a year. But I just wanted to show you that we can mix technologies when we have got conversion boxes which can convert from one world, in this case the world of Dante networking, to the world of AES-50. So we're going from, if you like, the world of Yamaha to the world of Midas. So my name is Mark Payne from SFL Group. We are dealers for Yamaha and Midas. We have both of these sets of equipment in our demonstration stock and our hire stock. Why don't you give us a call? Go to our website, which is www.sflgroup.co.uk. You can email me, mark.payne at sflgroup.co.uk. It's been great to have you here with us, and uh, come back and check out some more stuff that we do in the future. Thank you very much.